Tyson Carmody has seen too many young Aboriginal men caught in a cycle of hopelessness. What's the point of hoping for something more when I know when I get it, it's just going to be the same? For many, it's a struggle to see a life outside of the justice system. Well, if we keep doing the same thing, and we're going to get the same results all the time. A new Justice Reform Initiative report has found jailing in the Northern Territory is failing. It's not working to rehabilitate, it's not working to keep the community safe and it's certainly not working to address the social drivers of why it is that people come into contact with the justice system. The NT's imprisonment rate is five times higher than the national average and while most jurisdictions saw drops in incarceration in the wake of the pandemic, the Territory has seen a significant spike with juvenile detention numbers doubling. We're currently spending close to $300 million a year in the Northern Territory on locking up adults and children. They're calling for that same figure to be invested over four years into evidence-based alternatives, which they claim will break cycles of crime. There needs to be that partnership from the Commonwealth because the Territory will never be able to do it on its own. Advocates say the Northern Territory's high incarceration rates are the result of a politicised approach to justice and they're calling for both sides of government to work together for change. But it's going to take some you know, governments and everybody in the community to, to think differently and act courageously around this. Desperate calls for a new approach. Charmaine Allison, ABC News, Alice Springs.